Cyberpunks and Retro Nerds, it's your favorite Hammer Brother coming at you with one of my favorite top 10 horror movies of all time. Today we're going to be checking out the early 1960s French horror film Eyes Without a Face. And I absolutely adore this movie. It's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And uh, mainly because it's just so subtle, beautiful, and poetic. It's great. I love it. I'm stoked to be talking to you guys about it. Mainly because I know some of all y'all have never seen it. And if you plan on, on obtaining it, then you, my friend, are in for a treat. So without further ado, I'm going to go check out the flick. When we get back, we're going to be discussing none other than Eyes Without a Face. Cheers. such as Eyes Without a Face, simply because it's filmed in black and white, they are doing themselves a great disservice. Um, films like this and uh, George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, they're prolific horror films, popular horror films, and significant pieces of modern day art culture that deserve to be viewed uh, time and time again over the decades. And, you know, I can't you know, stress that enough. Just because something is filmed in black and white doesn't mean it's boring and doesn't mean it's not significant to current times. Despite its very simplistic premise, there's a lot of emotion going on here. The actors and the music and the cinematography all pull together a singular, omnipresent and haunting horror film. I love this movie so much, and uh, I highly recommend it, guys. Out of 10 stars, this is a rare one. This is a 10-star film. And if you've never seen it, and you're looking for a prolific horror movie that was filmed in black and white, then you can't go wrong with this one, guys. Check it out. 